I don't think I even have to say it, but still y'all know what time it is. Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. I'm your guy Ninja Killer 74 and we're going to get, we're, we're hopefully going to get back into the mix and get to some story progression for the next part. But on the, uh, the day this part's going up, it is October the 29th, 2021. I'm not going to have any parts going up over the weekend or nothing like that, so I would like to wish everybody a happy Halloween if you're watching this. Uh, I hope you have a very wonderful and joyous and or well, spooky Halloween. Also on this day, since I know it's dropping on this day, I know that uh, the My Hero Academia movie is dropping or whatever. So to all my My Hero fans out there, I would like to tell you, go take a bath. You stick. Now nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, but I hope you all enjoy the movie if you go out to see it. So. Anyways, we're going to start off by heading out. Where are we going to go? Uh, I actually don't know what the fuck I was going to do. Where were... Where, Oh, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. All right, we're going to go talk to Mishima. So we're heading out to Shinjuku, into the red light district. Let's talk to the, to the homie Mishima. It's pouring down raining out here. So much so that those, like, those cross-dressing dudes aren't even out here tonight. So, like, yeah, that's how you know that, that that rain coming down hard. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah, whatever, bro. I know you want somebody to door dash an umbrella. Yeah, I I, I get it. All right, let's talk with uh, Mishima right now. Come on, let's get going. Okay, we're gonna go over to the diner. <clears throat> so how go the activities? Actually, I already know the fan site has been crazy busy thanks to you guys. This book here is all about the latest security techniques, and this is uh. A model gun. It cost me a lot of money. Why was it so expensive? <laughs> well, it's basically impossible to find through normal methods. I heard that they had to completely halt production because people kept mistaking it for a real gun. It was suggested to me by this military buff from the fandom. Is this nigga wearing New Balance? Oh, I'm sorry, he's not- he's wearing Zoo Balance, because them shit's got a Z on the sides of them shits, that's not an N. My nigga got the Zoo Balance on. Uh, I figured it, it could, uh, I could use it, uh, security, since, you know, I'm the sole admin of the whole fan site. Bro, nobody's gonna attack no fucking admin on the internet, okay? Maybe virtually, but physically, nobody gives a fuck about some admin on, on the internet. I mean, you guys are getting really popular. It's been a lot more info on the forum lately, too. Some of the stuff up there is uh, pretty scary, so it seemed like I might need a little protection. Yeah, whatever you say, dog. I'm just gonna say that's a good idea. I actually, I mean, I could say whatever the fuck I want to this dude. I mean, he, he's auto progression, so. Yeah. But I, I'm not gonna be a dickhead, so. At least not yet. Yeah, I may just be your background support, but I need to be able to protect myself. Besides, I'm the kind of guy who goes the whole nine yards once he decides to do something. Why not ten yards? What about the extra yard, dog? But as I was saying, I've had a pretty massive influx of new posts on the forum lately. One of them seems particularly worthwhile. It's bigger than anything we've done so far. But if we want to really make the Phantom Thieves famous, we'll need to go after some flashier targets. <laughs> You're saying a lot of we right now, dog. Leave this to me, though. I'll get all the info we need. Yeah, you, you keep saying this, we. Even if I have to put myself in danger to do it. Well, what rank was that with him? Was that rank number... Oh, it's rank number five. All right. All right. By the way, um, do I look any different to you? Nah, you still look like a geek, my nigga. Actually, and people have been telling me it seems like I've changed recently. Yeah, them niggas are blind, bro. I guess I can't find my newfound confidence, huh? My true worth will finally... Well, 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 if it isn't Mishima. You know, now I'm sitting here and thinking about it, right? I gotta be one of the few people doing a full playthrough of this game. Who's just dropping the word nigga left and right? That's gotta be off-putting if anybody who's like doesn't know me just stumble onto these videos 
And if it is off-putting to you, then please don't don't be put off by it at all. Whatever you know, this is uh, you know just that's just how I speak. Whatever. I'm not trying to make nobody uncomfortable or anything. But if you feel uncomfortable with the way that I speak, then yes, I, I meant to make you feel uncomfortable. Akiyama kun. Long time no see, Zero. You know, we've been sitting just over there the whole time, but I didn't even notice you're sitting here. You're exactly the same as you were back in middle school, Mishima. Yeah, once a zero, always a zero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you haven't changed your cell number, have you? Hmm? Uh, uh, no, I haven't. Then why don't you come to our hangout? All our ex-classmates were there, you know. Oh, wait. Nobody even remembered you existed. Can't invite a guy you can't remember, right? Well, you did walk up to him, and you just mentioned that he has the same phone number and everything, too. So, like, you obviously... You know what? I'm not going to question this, this motherfucker's uh, logic right now. I do know people who have logic just as flawed as this. That, 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 that made absolutely no fucking sense, what he just said, though. Right. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's go. It's just... It's not what it looks like, okay? You know that guy in every class who ends up being the butt of all jokes? Yeah, that guy was me. Damn it. But I've changed now. I can help you. I'm not going to be that boring guy anymore. Sorry. Sorry about that. Anyway, it's getting late. We should probably head home. Well, see you later. Uh, later, bruh. Do, do, do. Oh, I'm a Mia. Just so you know, I'm going to work even harder. Not just in making the fan site, but also help make the fan of D's house a household name. Uh, whatever you say, bro. I'm going to do everything in my power so you can just kick back and relax. Uh, alright, sure. Thanks, I'm a Mia. I'm really lucky to have a friend like you. You just go ahead and focus on changing those bad guys' hearts. Okay, I better go, but we'll talk again soon, okay? Excuse me for a second. All right, anyway, let's see what we got here. Message. Aiko contacted me. She said she wants to talk. I've held off on giving her a solid response yet. Then when I try to ask for more details, she simply says that she wants to talk about it in person. If it's okay with you, do you think we could go see her together? Well, we do need to hang out with uh, Makoto today, so let's do that. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got here. Let's go talk to Miss Student Council President. All right, hello, Makoto. Well. All right, we have Isis. Uh, thank you. It's reassuring to know that you'll be there with me. She's waiting over at Big Bang Burger. Let's go. I wonder if that place is good, bro. Is it just like McDonald's and that's it? Because if it's just like McDonald's or whatever, then like I wouldn't want to live in this world just to eat there. Because that feel, I mean, it's McDonald's. Like I said, it's not McDonald's is no be all end all, whatever. It's like the very, it's like a default. Like if you don't know where the fuck you want to eat on a day, somebody's like, hey, you want to go out to eat somewhere? And you don't, you want fast food or whatever? You don't just say, I want to go to McDonald's straight up or whatever. That's what you default to if you don't know what the fuck you want to eat. Nothing wrong with that. It's just you know. It's not that not nothing special for real. Is something the matter? So what did you want to talk about? Did she know that I was coming over too? Or or no? Well, um, I was wondering if you could maybe lend me some cat aren't you rich? 
Don't, hey, didn't you talk about like your parents having money or something? Why are you asking her for money? Huh? What? It's nothing real major, but like, I need it right now. I'll pay you back though, honest, please. Does this have to do with Tsukasa? Mm-hmm. He dropped a super expensive bottle of sake at work, so the club's making him pay for it, but he needs help. How suspicious. He dropped the bottle of well, maybe he shouldn't have dropped the fucking bottle of sake forehead. Anyway, he's lying to you, Eiko. Don't give him any money. He's not lying. I know you're all weird about the fact that he's a host, but my Tsukasa's not like that. He's really gentle and honest, too. He even calls me princess. <laughs> Disgusting. Um, I'm the only one he says that to, you know? He says it because I'm special. So he calls you his special princess. I almost vomit every fucking time you say the fucking word. What do you think, Rencoon? I think he says that to all his girls. Yes. I have to agree. Every girl who gives him money is his princess. Can you stop fucking saying that? Please, I, I don't want to keep saying that. That way he can never get their names mixed up. Ah, uh, true play away, true play away. Give them all the same nicknames so that he can't get caught up with them. I'm not giving advice or whatever, or this game's not giving advice on how to be uh, how to be a player out here or whatever, but listen. Um, it's not, that's not a bad strategy though. I'll give him that. Don't accuse him of that stuff. You don't have any proof. You're not wrong about that. But did you ask anyone at this club about the broken bottle? Uh, well, uh, no. He told me not to talk to them about it. He's too proud to have me go crying to his boss. Please, Makoto, you're the only person I can trust. All of my other friends would rather focus on cram school than entrance exams than to take time to help me. Ah, yes, they are focusing on their future instead of he helping some girl who's dating some shady-ass nigga who works at a club because he dropped a bottle of alcohol. Yeah, I mean, it seems like they have their priorities set straight. I mean... And who knows what my parents say if I had tried to ask them. Please, even a little. I think you should end your relationship with him. Oh, she straight up just said, break up with your boyfriend. If you don't stop to, uh, stop to this, or if you don't put a stop to this, he might try to drag you into some suspicious line of work. Oh, he already got me a job. It's nothing weird, though. I'm just serving drinks at a bar to help him pay off that broken bottle. He said, I'll be number one in no time. You're a bottle girl? Maybe I'll just keep doing it after I graduate high school, though. I mean... It's not like I'm going to go to college. <laughs> hey, Ko. You can't just do what he says. He's trying to deceive you. A smart person like you totally wouldn't understand what it's like. You're just going to go to a good college, work at a fancy company, and then what? At the end of the day, your life's going to be totally boring. I mean, is that seriously how you want to live life? I'm going to be real with you, Makoto. She is frying your shit right now. I'm not sure yet. But be that as it may, you should still stay as far away from him as you can. So you're not going to help me. Ugh, just forget it. I can make it up if or I can make it up if I just let some customers take me out on dates after work. Oh, uh, that sounds like you are uh you're becoming an escort, ma'am. Aiko, <sighs> wait. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but Sukasa has been texting me almost constantly. Recently, he's been asking if my sister and I live alone and that he'd be glad to help us out. Even today, he asked me if I'm still happy with my boyfriend. Oh! <laughs> okay. All right, bro. Listen to me, Eiko. He's not serious about you. Don't give me that crap. I mean, you could show him the text message or show her the text message. You got your phone with you. Sukasa's is just so nice that he'd worry about my friends for me. Oh, this bitch delusional. Wait, you were texting him behind my back? What the hell? My this bitch, bro. 
I swear to fucking God, this bitch, bro. It's a goddamn shame because there, there are women on this planet like this, bro. I don't want to say this because, I mean, the girl's in high school, whatever. But this sounds like a classic case of her being, uh, dickmatized. It was most uh, mostly him texting me. Oh, you have the grades, the looks, a cool boyfriend, and you seriously still want more? Tsukasa is all I have. Aren't you rich? You know what? I, I, I ain't gonna say nothing. You can't take him from me. Please listen. That's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, right, just keep your hands off. I'd never forgive you if you stole him away, Makoto. Tsukasa is all she has. You know, I think she's exactly the kind of girl those gangs in Shinjuku are on the lookout for. Uh, ones that are, who are depressed or whatever, so like they come, they swoop in and try to make them happy? Yeah, I know. Uh, hold on. Lonely, depressed girls who have their or have nowhere to vent their frustrations, and they have to sell their bodies on the street, right? Yeah, Aiko's family is quite well off. Like I said, she's rich or whatever. You can't argue with the stupid. Matter of fact, you're more stupid for arguing with the stupid. So, her multi-talented younger brother seems to be the sole focus of her parents' attention, though. I'm sure that's why she fell for Sukasa in the first place. She treats her like she's special. But asking a high schooler for money isn't normal boyfriend behavior. She needs to realize that. You're gonna help, right? <laughs> See, I'm more along the lines of, like, if this was like an actual situation, IRL or whatever, at this point, after what she just said, I would have said, man, fuck her. She deserves that shit, bro. I, I personally would have did that. And I am not ashamed of that. I stand by that. But, of course, we're not allowed to do that if we're, you know, trying to progress the damn confidant so absolutely we're going to help you thank you very much it's reassuring to hear you say that Eiko's blessed to have both money and a family yet she's still trying to break free for them she's almost the exact opposite of me so yeah, for you you should be more pissed off about the fact that whatever you don't got no family but this girl who does have family and money or whatever is out here just neglect you know like acting like those shits don't matter to her or whatever but you didn't grow up with that, like, you know, you didn't have, well, I guess, yeah, that privilege or whatever to grow up having a family like that. So, like, personally, I would have told her to fuck off, but, I mean, I guess in a sense, watching her now is almost like looking back at my past self. I was so blinded by my own convictions that I never stopped to consider other alternative viewpoints on the world. But that's not the right way to live. I just want to show her uh, show her that, just like uh, you did for me. I can sense a deep bond and trust for You know, I just realized the, the fucking chairs in this restaurant kind of like rockets. All right, well, we're rank eight with her. I did a lot of talking on the asides there, so I gotta be careful with that. I know she wants me to stay out of her business, but I'd never forgive myself if I let this come to pass. What is the right way to live? At any rate, we're going to catch that horrible host. I'll let you know once I've thought of how to do it. Well, let me take a swig of my drink real quick. Ah, you're back. All right. Well, we're gonna head out to Shinjuku to head to the red light district. We need to talk to uh, Miss Chahaya for a second. We need to get a uh, a fortune or well, a reading. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to get a reading. What shall we do? I would like to get an affinity reading on the Devil Arcana. Wonderful. Okay, here I go. 
All right. And after we do this, we can go talk to everybody's favorite uh, newspaper writer or reporter. What do you think? All right. Later, Chaya. All right. So let's head down the street to the Crossroads Bar. Almost ran right past it, actually. Oh, honey. Hello, Oya. How are you today? Oh. Hey. Oh, there you are. I was wondering where my informant had gone to. Isn't it warm out? Speaking of which, the public's starting to warm up to the Phantom Thieves. Your favorites. Hey, you have some info to share, right? Need some more info on the Phantom Thieves, so sit your little pretty butt down. Hang out with her. Well, the last time we hung out with her, this grown woman pretended that this high schooler was her boyfriend, and she was acting like, uh, age ain't nothing but a number. Let's see what she, what's gonna happen this time. <laughs> Hey, it's my number one guy. What kind of news you got for me? I'll smack you if it's not good enough. Are you hammered? Hey, uh, you sure you're okay? <laughs> what do you mean? You're worried about me, Lala-chan? You're usually kind of... <laughs> Man, I haven't seen her drink this much in forever. What? I haven't been drinking at all. As she takes a, a, a sip out of her drink. I'm totally not drunk. <clears throat> uh... You having trouble at work? Ooh, you're sharp, kid. Truth is, uh, my quota got doubled. It's gonna take like four times as much work to get that uh, that much done, though. They're shackling me down so I won't have time for anything else. Ugh, my chief's such a shithead. He must not like you. And if that bastard probably knows something's up. Damn it. Before this, I was starting to feel like a real journalist again. The rush of investigating Kaio's case, uncovering the dark secrets in a way by our corrupt society. But now, it's gonna be impossible to run my investigation with this quota. That doesn't sound good. Of course it's not good. What am I supposed to do? They'll fire me if I can't reach my quota. Hey, Lala-chan, if they fire me, can I live here? That still won't help my investigation, though. The, invest the incident's over a year old, and the authorities ain't doing shit. <gasps> Maybe Kyle really was the true culprit. You should probably believe her, man. That goes without saying. I mean... If I don't, who will? Dragon Fist? <laughs> What's your temper? What am I doing? I mean, I'm the one who dragged Kaio into politics. It's my fault this ended up happening to her. You know, she started out in book publishing, mostly taking photos of nature and wild animals. She was a genius behind the camera, though. That's why I thought she'd make the perfect partner for me. Hey, you aren't. Uh, you can't blame yourself. Kyo Chan was just set. Uh, was just as set on exposing the evils of society as you were. Isn't that right? Shit. But if I didn't get her involved in the first place, damn it! Then it's all my fault. That's why I've got to get to the bottom of it. That's the spirit. Hell yeah. You know. It's weird how calm I can get when I'm talking to you. It's almost like you actually understand me. Oh, and uh, I'm sorry for snapping at you earlier. The stress must have gotten to me. Mm. It's just all this quota business is driving me crazy. I'm gonna have to put all my focus on, what, on that for now. I'll still be counting on you for phantom these stories though, as long as you're up for it. Nice. What rank is this with her? Is this six? Rank six. All right. How are we doing on time? We're doing pretty good on time, actually. I think I'm going to have to ease my investigation for a while, too. I don't even need any more eyes on me. But I might be able to work or ask some of my co-workers for help. Journalists will do anything for a scoop. Now then, I'll take any tidbit you have for me today. Hope you don't mind if I get back to drinking, though. This whole conversation really sobered me up. 
Mm, it's getting late. I'll see you later. Oh boy! I see a rank 10 coming up, thank god! I can rest my voice for a little bit. Hey kid, thanks for spilling on the Phantom Thieves earlier. If I'm being serious, I mean genuinely actually serious, I really appreciate you. I'm only able to meet my insane quota because of the info you give me on the Phantom Thieves. Uh, I mean, I'll dig up some more for you, yeah. Yeah, keep it coming. You're seriously dependable, kid. But yeah, for now, guess I'll leave the intel gathering to my partner in crime. I gotta focus on meeting my quota. I'll never give up on my investigation. Okay, let's call it a day. Looking forward to your next big scoop. All right. Well, let's go hang out. I mentioned at rank 10, we're gonna hang out with our boy Yusuke. And we get to see his second awakening here. Hmm. All right. Let's go to let uh, with uh, Yusuke. There's something I would like to show you. Satanta. We got him. Yeah, let's hang out with Yusuke. You see, I entered my piece into Kawanabe's competition. Moreover, it was accepted. The resulting exhibition is actually going on as we speak. Come, let us go. It's being held at the same same museum as the last time. Well, his painting won the competition. Nice. I still have much to learn, but I finally painted something that I can be satisfied with. Yes, this is the true heart of humanity. The title is Desire and Hope. What do you think? It turned out well. well I added aspects that were previously <clears throat> lacking. This light is all of you. Oh! The title lists hope, but in my mind, it's a much more concrete thing. I can't believe I didn't realize that until now. Mm. That was a very deep... Mm. <laughs> you. It's a good painting. It's not trying to be eccentric for the sake of being eccentric, like the last time. To think the same painting can change this much. Hmm. So this is the answer you've come up with. It is. Desire and hope, I see. Beauty and ugliness. Humans are creatures that possess both. His voice is kind of crazy. Understand that. What are you playing at? <clears throat> Hate to interrupt, whatever. But I see as on the day I'm recording this, whatever the Atlanta Braves are heading to the World Series. Well, good for them. They're playing the Astros. It looks like you provoked him on purpose. I apologize. Although my intent was to encourage you, it was rather crude. Still, I believe that this ploy needed to be done in order to ignite your competitive spirit. But why would you do that? What's your objective? I wanted to do something for you as another person who is free from Matarame's chains. That's all. Huh? Matarame held a grudge against me for supposedly stealing his customers from him. To start, I couldn't get anyone to rent me space for exhibits. He caused me no end of hardship. So <clears throat> that's why. Yes, the heart of man is painted with desire, even if it's coated entirely in black at times. Hmm. However, it seems you have the strength to not look away from it, and chose to stand up against it. 
If only he had your strength. Uh, I'm guessing you mean Matarame, right? Matarame and I go back a long way. First as classmates, then as teachers at the same art school. Oh, y'all, y'all, oh, oh. He used to have a noble spirit. Said he wanted to aim for the top of the art world one day. And then at some point his desires got distorted. <gasps> but in the end, even the art world has its share of politics. Those who mm. are coming win. Our hearts were stained black in that manner. But the human heart is a strange thing. It can't completely separate black from white. I was shocked when I heard that he took you in. He never liked children, you see. Oh? This happened just before we cut all ties from each other. But I got a call from him. He was panicking that nearby clinics were closed and that his kid had a fever. Sensei. He was a good man deep down, yeah. Yeah. Well, that should make Yusuke happy at least. I don't want any more losers. That's why I started Oops. this foundation. Let's do that. I don't want any more losers like me or misguided winners like him being born from this world. Nice, okay. So how about it? Would you like our support? <laughs> Without the overbearing marketing production, of course. It's a truly kind offer. Thank you for your generosity. Are you gonna accept or you're gonna decline? However, I must respectfully decline. Oh, okay. Huh. What makes you say that? I am not Madarame. Hmm. I won't be stained by desire. After all, I can see hope. If I am lost, they will extend their hands. If I am wrong, they will chastise me. Mm. As long as I have my rays of hope to guide me, I will be fine. Ha! Madarame really did have a good eye. <laughs> What a strange man. <laughs> yeah. Sacrificing one's own money for the sake of others. That's not something anyone can do. True. Perhaps it's a tad wasteful of me to decline. Still, I believe it's for the best. I feel contradictory, but that's the human heart, correct? Yeah. Interesting. Excuse me. It must have been troublesome dealing with me. But for some reason, I knew that you wouldn't abandon me until everything was said and done. Thank you, my friend. Anytime, dog. I feel a strong bond with you, Skay. Now it's time for it. His second awakening. Shelby Thou has to wake into the ultimate Emperor. Second awakening. All right. And we get to see his. And now we can fuse All right. Odin. And right, let's see what what it becomes. Go Amon, who are you gonna become? Kamu Susano. Now that I'm out of my slum, I need to make up for the time I wasn't able to paint. I reiterate my promise to you. I'll extend my assistance to you, should you ever stumble. Now then, shall we go? In order for Let's. me to learn more about the heart, we need to work hard on our thief business. 
Uh, uh, I mean, yeah. Alright, so he's got Evade Fire now, which is, uh... That's actually pretty good for him to have. He can keep Speedmaster, he can keep that, but... Mmm... Let's see, Tempest is minuscule, 3 to 5, heavy, medium to all. Is this attack 1 or... Ooh. Mmm. 3 to 5 versus 1 big attack. I'm gonna get rid of Tempest Slash. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, just have to check how we're doing on time. Rain, huh? Alright, so what do we gotta do next? Well, now that we've done that, we're going to go talk with... Oh, we're going back to, uh, to see Oya? Bad. It's Crossroads. Oh, honey. Hey, hey. All right, what's up, Oya? How you doing? Hopefully it'll stop soon. <laughs> Wind up drinking inevitably. Okay, inevitably. God, my head is splitting. Work's been tough. I need a break. You have any good stories? I'm taking a little break, so I'm all ears. I'll take out with her. Hey, take a seat. Here we are on August 19th in game. Uh, that's, uh, well, one of my older sister's birthdays, uh, actually. <laughs> oh, I'm so exhausted. Thanks to my quota and that shithead chief. But I made some progress on my personal investigation. I did some research on the Phantom Thieves. I'm starting to get the impression they might actually be the real deal. No signs of an internal power struggle, no dirty money exchanging hands. I can kind of understand now how someone like you became a fan. The more I get to know about the Phantom Thieves, the better I understand them. I can relate to their sincerity. They remind me of how I used to be. I already know firsthand that fighting the evils of society is a never-ending, thankless job. But I still do it nonetheless. I bet the fan of these share that same type of passion. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear you talking about passion, Ichiko-chan. Maybe all this talk about the Phantom of these has influenced you. Or maybe it's just a kid. Maybe. I mean, he is a pretty big fan of theirs, so... Ring, 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 phone call, phone call. <laughs> Yes, this is Oya, that's right. What? You found Kayo? Where is she? What do you mean you can't tell me? Why the hell not? Hey, what's going on? Wait. Kayo. What was that about? That was one of my journalist friends. He thinks they, he found Kayo. He followed up on a pretty far-fetched string of rumors for me, but now he's saying he doesn't want to get involved. Damn it! Why the hell won't he tell me what's going on? I can't give up just now. At least that's progress. I mean, he di we didn't even know Kaio Chan was still alive before now, so... Stop right there. Ugh. Huh? I knew it. You've been looking into Kaio's case behind my back. Well, not anymore. I've cut off all your resources. I suggest you drop this investigation if you don't want to face the consequences. Wait, you're the one who pressured my contact to keep quiet. I told you, this is where your wild goose chase ends. Oh, and I'll be doubling your quota again. No more of this personal investigation. Got it? Huh? What? Are you trying to kill me? Hey now, Mr. Chief. Can you really do that? I don't think anyone asked for your opinion, bitch. Whoa, he didn't have to get on Lala-chan like that, bro. Rude? Listen to me, Oya. Give it up. Unless you want to end up just like that stupid friend of yours. What do you mean by that? Don't talk about Kaio like that. Stop messing around. Don't you dare. If you even think about talking 
shit on Kaio again. I won't hesitate to beat the living crap out of you. Whoa! Hold on. Take back everything you just said, or I'm gonna do even worse. It's too late now. The higher-ups have decided to put that incident to rest, and that's what we're doing. You understand? That spineless little bastard only cares about himself. Shit. It just had to happen just as I got a new lead on Kaio. What should I do? Should I go knock him out? Don't let him provoke you. Hmm. I know I'd be playing right into his hands if I let him go get to me, but... God damn it! No, I need to stay calm. I can't give him any more reason to fire me. Just stay calm and think. Ah, this sucks. <laughs> An even greater quota is going to be a problem, but I can't give up now. I promise I won't stop fighting. I'll prove it to you with another great article. Exclusive. The Phantom these stealing hearts and changing lives. <sighs> Sorry, I really will try and calm down now. Or what is that, rank 7? Yeah, rank 7. So you're getting juicy in the, uh... With old uh, Oya here. All right. I'm still frustrated, though. All that bullshit he said is really getting to me. I wish I was better at controlling my emotions like you are. You're charming as you are. Huh? Nobody said anything that sweet to me before. More importantly, Ichigo-chan, how are you going to manage having your quota doubled? I'll just work twice as hard. I should be fine, as long as I keep getting info from uh, good info from my favorite source here. Give me some news. Oh, that reminds me. Let me hear all about today's scoop. Well, I guess we're going to tell her stuff that piques her interest. Charm increased. I mean, granted, you know, we're still, like, like go to charm, but... Alright, so we're gonna go head home. Sup, kid. Thanks for bringing all that good info. Uh, no problem. How are we doing on time? We're doing real good on time, actually. I can slow down a little bit. You're really the only reason I'm still surviving through my crazy quota. For real? I mean, uh, uh, thanks, I guess. And it honestly helped that you were there with me earlier. If you weren't there, I would have just gone full blast on the Chief, and that would have been it. Yeah, that would have been pretty bad, wouldn't it? But I finally got a lead on Kayo. I'll do whatever it takes to find her. That's the spirit. Right, I'm not gonna let this crap get me down. I made a tough stuff. Watch me, Chief Shithead. You're going to be crying at my feet. Is, uh, is that like a kink of yours or something? Like, <laughs> uh, that was oddly specific just now. I mean, I'm not, I'm not judging. Just, you know, that, it's kind of weird that you just, you know, had that on, on the brain just now. Anyways, still, I do have my limits. I got to go do something about this insane quota. Well, I'll come up with something. Uh, well, uh, I'll come up with something. Uh, you just focus on giving me new info, okay? Okay, see you soon. Night! Well, that was something. Saturday, August 20th. Which would be my actual birthday. <laughs> uh, canonically, this game takes place in 2016, so funny enough, this would, in game, this would have been my 18th birthday. <laughs> All right, so what they want us to do is pretty much damn near nothing. Unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to be doing too much on my birthday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head out uh, to the back streets. And unfortunately, because I got nothing to, to, to do for real, for real, I'm just going to go back inside. Um, Yeah, we can rest to the evening. Well then. 
do we have the time that we might have the time to actually do that that scene actually no we're not we're not we're not i'm gonna say that for the next part how was futapa i haven't heard anything dude this ain't just some normal oversleep stuff our deadline she's been asleep for like 35 days dog like she's dead hasn't been asleep for 35 days if futapa's not up by then but can she really do anything if she if even if she does wake up Honestly, I'm not sure. Either way, our only option is to put our trust in her. That's right. Yeah. If she's been asleep all this time, do you think she's been having some kind of long dream? Hmm. Dreams are said to be the sorting of memories, after all. She surely needs ample time to face her troubled past. Her past? You think she really, she's really facing all that shit right now? If that is the case, she would probably need a great amount more time to do so. But considering how she had us wrapped around her finger. I feel as though she'll be able to pull this off. I believe in Futaba. Yes, indeed. Well, just give us a ring if anything changes. We're counting on you. I have to agree with Makoto. Hmm. Who knows how this might turn out? Well then, and the next one because we're gonna go get locked into a cutscene automatically on the twenty-first. So here, I guess, on my in birthday in game, we're gonna end things off here, and in the next one, we're gonna start off by talking with everybody's favorite uh, weapons, well, arms dealer, as as they call him, whatever. Or everybody's favorite air shop, uh, airsoft shop owner, uh, Awai. And then after that, we're gonna find out what happens with uh, with Futaba. So, I would like to thank everybody for tuning in to my brothers and sisters and everybody else in between. I will catch you guys in the next one. Deuce.